Now let's look at water. Here's the Lewis structure, and again we ask, how can the bonds arrange themselves? Having just looked at ammonia, you may have an inkling of what I'm going to suggest here. Try pausing the video and drawing it out. Again, we have four electron groups around the central atom. Only this time, it's two bonds and two lone pairs. So, the basic geometry is still tetrahedral, but two of the four tetrahedral arms are now taken up by lone pairs instead of bonds. So the true shape of the molecule is like a V. This type of molecular shape is referred to as bent or V-shaped for obvious reasons. And to draw the VSEPR structure, we simply draw it like the Lewis structure with the two hydrogens bent downwards. Now the funny thing is that this is probably the way that you've been drawing water since the beginning without really knowing why. Well, now you do. Those lone pairs repel the two OH bonds downwards, pushing them closer together and leaving the molecule in that bent. Uh, v shape. Now one more interesting thing is that the bond angle in this molecule is 104.5 degrees, which is smaller than that in methane, which was 109.5, and smaller again than that in ammonia, which was 107. And this is the result of there being two lone pairs instead of just one. So those two single bonds are pushed even closer together because of the more repulsive nature of the lone pairs. So to summarize